It has been a long time since I made a video about the Cushman. Uh, as soon as I got the engine running, and that's over here, as soon as I got the engine put back together and, and uh, successfully test ran it, uh, I, I kind of put it back on the back burner. Uh, the reason I did is because the body is not uh, anything that I have any experience with. It's not anything that I have the tools for. So my plan was to take it to uh, a person here in town to have it done. But I decided that I would give it a shot um, and, see, and see what happens. So obviously lots of rust um, and old paint to remove. So I made a small investment. This is a Harbor Freight. Uh, angle grinder, four and a half inch angle grinder. I think it's like a four and a half amp or something like that. It's like not exactly <laughs> the cheapest one they have, but maybe one or two levels in. So I, I think I paid twenty two dollars for this. And then this is a um, kind of a beginner's um, wheel set. It was only ten dollars. A pair of safety goggles uh, and. Uh, I think it ran not even forty dollars for all of this, um, and the grinder it it's um, it came with some extra brushes. I guess the motor brushes can wear out after a while, um, and a wrench to uh, tighten the arbor. And also came with this grinding wheel, which I'm probably not going to use. But I watched some videos online um, about rust removal and these um, cups, these cup brushes. Are supposed to be really effective um, so I'm gonna give it a shot I'm gonna start with the with the frame here and and see um, see if it if it works um, I figure I would give it a try and if it doesn't work or um, it doesn't work well or it turns out to be too hard then I'll just pack it up and uh, take it to that person the uh, and, and let a professional do it. And then I'm only out $40. And I might can make use of an angle grinder for something else one day. Um, there are a couple of spots on this bike that I started to do by hand just to see. Um, and th this was before I bought the tool. I, I, I kind of sanded this and took a steel brush to it and then took some uh, steel wool to it uh, just, just to see what it would do. Um, and then there's also a spot down here that I took some basically the same process a, a lot of work um, and I wouldn't have wanted to do the whole bike that way so I decided I would try with the angle grinder so I'm gonna fire it up and um, I'll show you what it looks like afterwards I'm not gonna run it run the video while while I'm running the angle grinder out here it's really loud and I've only got two hands so, okay well I ran the uh, grinder there with um, just a crimped steel uh, wire brush on it, the cut brush. And I just ran it for just a few minutes, um, but it, you can see it works, works pretty well. I, I was just testing it out on some different spots and it just tears right through the old paint um, and uh, doesn't, I, I didn't spend a whole lot of time on the rustier spots, but the old paint just peels right off pretty nicely. The uh, bad thing is that thing vibrates like crazy. It's like holding on to, feels like you're holding on to something that's shocking you, <laughs> electric shock through the hands. So um, when you're just holding it in the air and it's running, it, it just vibrates like crazy. It subsides a little bit when you actually put it to the to the metal, well, it calms it down a little bit, uh, but it it's not really any fun. So I'm going to try a different. Um, I'm going to try the other cut brush on it. It that kit that I showed you earlier came with um, just the crimped uh, cut brush, crimped steel cut brush, and it also came with this um, twisted steel brush cut brush. So. I'm going to try that out a little bit. Um, may even try out some of these wheels. Um, I'm not sure. These might be a little better balanced uh, than 
the crimped steel brush that's on there right now and that might uh, might reduce the vibration if they're a little bit better balanced uh, we'll see okay I put the um, cable twist steel brush on there cut brush and uh, just running it holding it in the air it's much smoother so I haven't tried it out on the bike yet but hopefully it'll be a little bit more tolerable to hold on to for a while now turn the bike frame on its side this is the uh, right hand side so just wanted to do just a little before and after so this is the right hand side of the bike uh, before we start that worked pretty well um, that was probably about two or three minutes of work um, I just kind of knocked some of the old paint off of it just to see um, you know, how well would do that. That's a lot more taller than what I had. Um, you can see it did a pretty good job of taking off that old paint and rust. I'm, I'm sure I'm going to have to come back on this, but just as a first pass. And this part, um, the paint was not in great condition, but it, was, it hadn't broken through. Um, to the original metal you know, hadn't rusted through and that that's uh, that was the toughest part actually so the paint on here was was pretty good uh, we'll see um, and I dug the package back out of the recycling just so I get the right um, language here uh, that is um, sorry there's a three inch knotted wire cut brush and a three inch crimped wire cut brush. The three inch crimped, which was the one, the first one that I used here, is the one that was really hard on the hands, um, not well balanced. Uh, the other one, the uh, knotted wire cut brush, it's still on the, still on the machine here. Um, that's, that is, a lot easier on my hands. It still vibrates, um, but it works pretty well. And you don't have to put a lot of pressure on this. In fact, I'm trying not to put any undue pressure on it other than just what gravity does. i uh, still got a couple more wheels here, or a couple wheels, a uh, four inch cable twist wire wheel and a four inch stringer bead wire wheel. I don't know which is which I don't know. I don't know the terminology that well, so I'm probably try those out a little bit later. But I'm going to keep going with the um, with the knotted wire cut brush and um, see how it goes. All right, that's about uh, maybe an hour, hour and a half, maybe of work, maybe not even that much um, with the new grinder. Um, or the angle grinder and the uh, what is it? Not brush, not braided cut brush. I don't remember exactly what it's called, but um, the cut, one of the cut brushes really did a really did a pretty good job on here. It's that's probably seventy five percent of it. You know, all, all the big stuff. There's plenty of spots that I that I missed or um, couldn't get into. Um, but just to get the the bulk of it done is is amazing. Well, that's a good good little tool. It's already paid for itself, I would say. Um, I didn't mention earlier, but I was wearing safety goggles. I was wearing uh, two sets of earplugs. I was wearing long sleeves, long pants, a good leather gloves. Um, about halfway through I decided to put on a respirator or, and you can see how dirty it is. So I'm working in a closed space here so uh, uh, dirty. I wasn't really prepared for as much dust as this thing generated but um, it was worth it. So you can see my tracks, my shoe tracks there. So now I'm going to clean up um, and uh, so I would consider that to be a success.